Привет, Лир. Слушай, я только что посмотрела эфир Алатра. Hi, Lira. I just watched the uh, Alatra news bro broadcast. How wonderful and inspiring episodes are, and what a friendly, creative team creates this news that is really important for everyone. Yeah, that's true. And you know that absolutely everyone can join the creation of such broadcasts. So join us and try. Great idea. Thank you very much. Hello, dear friends. This is International Alatra News Live on Alatra TV channel. Every day, people from all over the world demonstrate vivid examples that inspire, encourage active actions, and contribute to the manifestation of the best qualities of a real person. And in this episode, we will see. Online conference in India uh, dedicated to the questions of environmental protection. The first lecture by Nobel Prize winner Richard Roberts on sustained agriculture, creative society project on Alatra TV India, discussion of creative ideology on Armenian television. The participants of the Alatra IPM at the event in Dobra Park in Kyiv. Educational video news on Alatra TV news channel. Now, the problem of human, human survival on Earth is being raised. We, humans, must take care and preserve the unique creatures of our blue planet. Our home is one. Everything in it is interconnected, and we can explore our home and learn to live in it peacefully and happily. Relationship with the entire world around us are built based on mutual respect and love, careful attitude to your life and the life of each person, as started in the first foundation of a creative society, human life is the highest value. The basis of a harmonious life is the understanding that a human is an integral part of the world around him, where there are creation and unification of all mankind for the sake of the future. An online conference was held in India, where the issues of human interaction with nature was raised. Anna will tell you more about this. Hello, Anna. Greetings, everyone. I would like to share good news from India. On the eve of World Environment Day celebration, the Institution of Green Engineers with Varuma Ditya Foundation from India conducted first online lockdown conference, 15 hours in Virenton 2020, which lasted in fact more than 17 hours and broke Asia Book of Records. During this event, we were conducted different activities, including speeches of uh, professionals from 20 countries. Participants of Alatra International Public Movement from Mexico, Germany, Ukraine and Armenia were invited to share their view on the topic of biodiversity and improvement of the environmental situation in the whole world. And now it will be interesting to hear the experience of our participants. So Chiara from Mexico recorded a small video and while Alexander and David has joined us live today. Hello everyone, it's Kiara from Mexico. First, I want to thank you Alatra for the invitation and the opportunity that they gave me two weeks ago with the environment and experience. Sharing and learning from people around the globe, topics about sustainability, ecosystems, organic food, and much more, it was just amazing. And the most important, being together, according to a creative society, besides being connected from everywhere, everywhere in the globe, then you realize that we are just one, one nation, that we only live in one house, our planet. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to be a speaker at the virtual conference in Varanthon 2020 with a topic 
ecology and sustainability in schools and creative society. Um, during the preparation of the speech, I realized that my view on my profession as a teacher has been completely changed by Alatra and by the vision of creative society. In the past, my attention was always focused on my students. Do they behave the way I want them to? By knowing about our consciousness and our true purpose in life, I suddenly realized what a great responsibility I have as a teacher towards growing students. Suddenly I am in focus. Which role model do I want to be? Which values do I want to convey to my students? And all this leads to um, the realization that everything, everything begins with me, with my own work on myself. Of course, we should build new society based on eight foundations of creative society, but it all starts with me, with my actions. Then topics like um, sustainability and ecology become as natural as respect, mindfulness, and love for each other. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, I, would, I would also like to share that at the marathon, I shared my understanding of creative society as a fresh within vision uh, at Common Things, as a new worldview and um, as a way to live in harmony in a world where everything is human-centered. And uh, how nowadays the issues of biodiversity uh, can be prevented or uh, solved in a creative society. The topic itself um, self aroused uh, a response and it was very great, gratifying. I would, also, uh, I would also like to add that um, the world is changing now. And when we prepare uh, questions uh, for the lecturer, Richard J. Roberts, it turned out that they were asked a bit earlier uh, by other people. So uh, we came up with new questions and they were also asked a bit earlier. So um, it was very pleasing to see that we are all striving uh, for the same. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander, for sharing and mentioning one more interesting event. So I would like to add that on last Sunday, participants of Alatra Movement, together with representatives of IGEN, had a press conference about the IGEN Nobel Laureate Lecture on Sustainable Agriculture. In this press conference, we shared with our viewers the importance of this topic in the framework of the Creative Society project and little more information about it. So I would like to invite Dr. Akila, who will tell us a little more about this event. Greetings, ma'am. Yeah, greetings to all of you. The Institution of Green Engineers, in association with KPR, Institute of Engineering and Technology, organized virtually IGEN Nobel Laureate Lecture Series. And the first one, titled Sustainable Agriculture, was held on 25th August 2020. IGEN is a non-profitable society founded by the green-minded people aimed at transferring intellectual knowledge to the research community, students, fraternity, academicians and industrialists. The inaugural ceremony of the event was unveiled with a spectacular classical dance showcasing the cultural heritage of the nation. Many honorable guests were present there including Honorable Governor of the Telugana State and Leading Scientist of India. Also, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam International Foundation was a part of this fascinating event. Nobel Laureate Sir Richard John Roberts, Chief Scientific Officer, New England, Biolabs ESA, was the first speaker. Sir Roberts informed that the Nobel Laureates call for Science Honesty About GMOs was, uh, was launched in 2016. He illustrated the distinction between conventional breeding and precision breeding, pointing out the transmission of GPS system from one car to another car as an instant, which says that technology helps the mankind if used appropriately. Totally 25,000 viewers all over the world watched this program through Google Meet and YouTube. 
This historical event proved to be an eye opener to the current young generation and undoubtedly iGen has served the purpose of propagating the UN sustainable development goals across the globe. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Akila. And I just also would like to add that during this lecture, Sir Richard Roberts shared scientific information in a very simple manner, and at the same time was pointed out the importance of accessible good quality education, about open and reliable information that mass media provides, and importance of open dialogue between professionals of different areas. And as reporters, of Alatra International TV, we asked the question that what conditions should be created in the society so that it will be really human-oriented. And there are many more interesting news on Alatra TV India. The Creative Society project has inspired many people. And now some of our guests who were participating in interviews before became a co-host of our live conversations. And also, we would like to inform that there are already live conversations and social service in Hindi. And one more good news. Recently, we started regular roundtables with students from different parts of India. As a research project, they study the eight, con the eight foundations and bring their ideas how those can be implemented in their schools. And they share these ideas and understandings during the panel discussion. This format was initiated by school principal from Mumbai, Dr. Sima Negi, who first participated as our guest in live conversation on Alatra TV North America. And today we have Dr. Sima Negi with us. Greetings, Dr. Negi. Greetings to everyone. Um, coming in contact with Alatra TV and Creative Society gave me a deep sense of gratification that there are people who are like-minded and want to make a better world for each one of us. We at Sanjeevni World School discussed the eight foundations of creative society with our students and asked for their views. And their views and opinions were so amazed. We were so amazed to know how empathetic they were in their approach towards the world and humanity at large. It led us to understand the project Creative Society as we believe students' voice matters. Our students are the leaders of tomorrow. Each student is driven by passion and objectives, which are unimaginable and ambitious. As students started implementing the goals in their daily lives, we provided eight of them the opportunity to represent Sanjeevni World Schools on the Alatra Unites TV India for Creative Society. Eight students represented each foundation of the Creative Society, uh, where the interview led to an erudite conversation with a sense of gratification it gives me immense pride to witness their views as to how they would incorporate the beliefs of all the eight foundations that are aligned with humanity in their own small unit the school to make this world a better place to live in after the pilot project interview our students were augmented or the uh, our students were augmented our undue support to the magnified and broadened student community across India. We would amalgamate the maximum of creative society. A human is a fundamental unit of society. Humanity is one big family. Students from Pan India cite their goals and strategies to imbibe values on humanity from school level. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to quote, you are the master of your destiny. You can control your own fate, as said by Napoleon Hill. Each of our children are the masters of their own destiny. We are only their facilitators and enhancer who believe in guiding and lighting their path as they tread on. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and implementing this wonderful idea. Also, I would like to add that together with the team of Alatra Science, we conducted live conversations with two scientists from India who shared their deep view about the creative society and what is the role of every person in building such a society and what the role of science. Also, using such an opportunity, I would like to say that there are many, much more people in India 
who, would, who is much interested in the Creative Society project, and they would like to have more information in their mother tongue. So I'm inviting everyone to join our team for translations, conducting social surveys and live interviews in Hindi and other languages. And as famous Indian quote says, Vasudeva Kutumbakam, the world is one family. And now we're actually experiencing it in practice. So, Nhanyavat and Namaskar. Namaskar, Anya. Many thanks for your participation and desire to share your knowledge and experience. For the first time, the ideology of creative society is being discussed in Armenian television. The popular TV channel New Armenia starts a series of programs about creative society where the ways of ev evolutionary transition from consumer to creative format will be discussed. People all over the world have the right to be aware of the changes that takes place in the world. Participants from Armenia are invited to discuss and spread the idea of creative society all over the world. Our ideology is like a set of things that we have as an aim to implement the right of every person to live in complete freedom joy, prosperity, and all that's given as a right for us by God. We live in the civil and modern society that are now challenged with cataclysms and everything else. So humanity has to be ready for those global changes. Um, of course, the consumer is supposed to be present. Just the creative society does not exclude from the picture a consumer, but it's a matter of the primary importance. But a creative society is a society where everything is centered around the person, where it's all centered on the individual de development of the individual. And the highest interest is placed on the happy and safe way of living, whereas the supernatural organization cannot uh, obstruct the rights of the person. It's a very interesting thing. We I would like to continue um, the meetings that we have. I would like for our broadcast to not be interrupted in a continuous way. As, as it connects to the creation society, society, I'm all up for that. And today with us, please share with us the experience of participation Greetings. I would just like to greet all of our wonderful and respected family that we have, the world and global family that have started to um, its victorious march to the Creative Society on our beloved planet and I would just like to say thank you for uh, this chance to talk more on the creative society what you need to know is if someone of you have seen or heard we had the statement to the Armenian people which given a great rise of attention from the population when we started to work on our party, our political party. We are now developing a new platform, so a new movement, a new create, creative movement where a few of hundreds of NGOs and participants of different political parties, because this is an ideological movement on the establishment of the creative society, and here it's independent of who represents one kind of party or what kind of party. If this person um, approves this ideology and admits it, he becomes the part of the joint project and becomes the moving part that is so much needed for um, a quick and important step to move toward the creative society. Regarding the program that we have, we've started to negotiate with many, many, many mass media and also with the public TV channels. And I would just like to say a few things on that. 
the new Armenia, the TV channel that was named before, they've taken the responsibility on top of themselves and uh, the amount of gratitude that we would like to express to them for making this decision and to our wonderful Gabi Kukurchan and all of the management of the uh, channel. And we came to the joint understanding that we are continuously con moving on with the programs, not only on the ideology and the concept of creative society, but also on the roadmap or action plan of the implementation of creative society. We also get into negotiate with the channel that we will on the channel will give information and then use all over the world that our people from all over the place are just moving on. They're stepping toward the paths of creative society and how the examples of the buildup of creative society. I would like to once again say a word of gratitude to our wonderful friends who is to specifically one who is a participant of our movement says he said become a, uh, who did conduct those negotiations with the TV channel and thank God those negotiations have finished victoriously and I would just like to say a few things every single step and uh, the, every step that our family makes, this is important and every single step is important and our hearts are filled with joy and gratitude enormous gratitude to, to all the people that not only admitted this ideology on themselves but also by taking upon themselves made a decision to take the responsibility on themselves to make steps forward that the person understands to get it closer the build-up of creative society in some way and so this this bridge that we call a creative society i give the word back to the studio thank you so much and enormous gratitude from my party to you Thank you so much, Bogdan. Do we have one more guest in touch with our studio? It's Ike. Can you tell us, please, what was the response of this program in the society and which possibilities we have? Greetings, and thank you so much for the question. I will try to create an example before and after of those programs, right? If beforehand people get to know about the movement and get to know about the projects of Creative Society and all of that, they did sort of like, they listened to that, like they wait and see what will happen, but when the program started um, being placed on the public television. Many, many people were um, gladly surprised that this is a secret movement. It actually growing. It was every day and every hour. And in the vast majority of people that are there, they finally had this living and interest to the process and what is happening in place. And so many people um, express their readiness and willingness to input their forces and and to help the common goal. So the interest is massive and vast. People do see the concrete actions in concrete. And you can look at the things that many people that are just watching from a side and when they are seeing that there are specific steps and deeds that are done and then when they are seeing um, the feedback from people, so many people are being waking up and um, of everything that is actually we are speaking of. So this interest is growing and it's tremendous. There, the program is so much needed. I just like to uh, also like to express my gratitude to the new Armenian TV channel for such a wise and great decision and to express my gratitude to every person who helped us and who will help us and to all of our wonderful movement to the better future. And also one thing, the people who don't understand the Armenians, it's also interesting uh, to see those programs. 
and they have this um, request, can we translate those programs to Russian and English? And so like this interest being fired up all over the world and through those programs, people are starting to get to know about the whole movement on the creative society throughout the world. So this is such a positive and great experience and it's such a big gratitude to every single one for everything. Thank you so much for the question and I give the floor back to the studio. Thank you so much for your active life position and the desire to spread the creative society ideology. We want to share another great news. This weekend, Alatra LPM participants attended an event, Dobro Park, which was organized by the founders of Lucky Ukraine magazine. Let's find out how it was. And we have a reporter, Anna, with us. Hello, Anna. Hello, Oksana. Indeed, on August 24th, the day of the national holiday of Ukraine, we and the Alatra TV team visited a wonderful event uh, in Dobro Park for, uh, where we invited, uh, were invited by Elena Tarasenko and Anna Krysiuk. On this day, uh, we were able to see incredible, beautiful flowers, arrangements, a display of a unique collection of of embroiders by uh, Ukrainian designers, a concert performed by famous ensemble uh, Naoni, and our Alatra TV team participated in setting uh, the record Bushita Krasa Ukraini, which was attended by all the guests of the event. The organizers shared in, uh, in an interview not only um, when you say the words of thank you, everything reply in something good. The more people uh, call people to humanity, to such creative attitude and to a friendlier one, the more the world will become softer and easier. Starting uh, with myself, I am sure that this is one, I don't know, like a huge cycle of transformation, wonderful inner uh, qualities, it will grow around us. When there is a mercy, then a society is stronger, more intelligent. Well, I Trust think that the, uh, this is the way we can when you create help something very it's strong. Not more so more so. Trust Probably it's the best thing that can be there. People should be equal and people should be kinder, because we all human. If we uh, give our smile and love to our family and friends, this will unite us. The essence of a person who grows and develops spiritually lies uh, in his humanity and his productivity to do right and good deeds uh, for the world. And it really helps uh, when you help your neighbor and start with that. Then, uh, here and then, of course, every person will get used to such philosophy and then the world around us will change. Thank you so much, indeed. When people respect each other, they live together happily and build creative society together. It gives you a sense of belonging and unity with each person. And now let's get acquainted with the new videos on Alatra TV. The book is about the life of society and the real chance of its transformation, about the importance of each person's choice. The last word is left to the people. Alatra Audio Book Part 7 Education is a culture of uh, upbringing, mutual respect and self-improvement. The guests of the Alatra uh, broadcast on Alatra TV, uh, Life is one of the world's most famous and respected experts in the field of education, Professor John uh, Hotzi. 
Within the framework of the United Grain project, a teleconference of the new format examples of uh, uni uniting people was held where a model of how modern technologies allow people to unite and solve global issues was shown. Series of vlogs, my way of life, uh, my way to life, personal experience of working on herself, a member of Alatra IPM, Nicole. Watch the new video, The Spiritual Boss, was vlog 20. People themselves are united in a single impulse to live in love, joy and happiness. And already all concerned people on Earth are actively involved in building creative life that is worthy of every human. Dear viewers, Thank you that we, you are always with us, and we will see you next week. We need to change everything, all of the conditions. We have to build a creative society from our sort of almost that world into the future and a living one. Then all of us will be able to survive. For the sake of all the humanity and for our descendants, we should preserve this world and, and also put it in order, revitalize it, sort of, right? Because yes, it's sick, but it's not that yet. And here, yet again, it all depends on us whether it will live or die. And it all depends on the choice that of you and of us and of our friends.